Okay. What, what's wrong with you? Just Mr. Holland's opus. Wait, you just saw it? Just thinking about it. You're angry. Well, more annoyed than anything else, but yeah. It's not a big deal, whatever. Okay, so my dad's ex-girlfriend from college. Your mom? No, before her, Rhoda. Anyway, Rhoda's married right now to this guy, Eddie, who's apparently some sort of development executive at Bravo. Well, that's great. Right, so I emailed him, cover letter, resume, everything. Got back to me today. <laughs> that's fantastic. With this voice message. Ben, Eddie Martin, got your materials, my friend. Truly excellent stuff. Look, I have some really good news for you, but I'm about to take off for an international flight. I'll give you a ring in about four to five. Ben, that's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Four to five. Four to five what? Weeks? Months? What? Could be four to five days. Could be four to five months. Could be four minutes to five. Kyle, when is the last time anybody has ever said four minutes to five? That's when I'll call you. 456. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got testy. I didn't mean to yell. son is deaf and he'll never hear his that's last open. About. I don't have time for this. Sorry. He'll never hear the last open. Why does God play tricks like this? Why does God play tricks like this? Yeah, Dad. Hey, Benji. I just spoke to Rhoda. Look, Eddie's out of the country for a while, but he'll be back in touch with you this soon. So I've heard. Do you have any idea when? Pretty sure she said four to five. In the meantime, I think I just found the guy for you. Oh, you really shouldn't have, Dad. Yeah, you remember back in 1998 when your mom and I were splitting up and I went out trolling for new guy friends? Sure. But one of those guys was Herb Lansing, whose father, Don Lansing, used to be a big-time studio exec at Orion Pictures. Okay. I just happened to see Don's name in today's paper. Wow. Yeah. They did a feature article on him. Yeah, his family, his career, the whole McGill. This. Back in the day, his nickname in the biz was Mr. Turquoise. Apparently, the guy had a different turquoise suit for every day of the week. Well, that sounds uh, relatively eccentric. So here's what you're going to do. I already called Jose Banks. They're going to have a rental waiting for you this afternoon. Wait a second. You ordered me a turquoise suit? Yes, I did. Don't worry. You'll pay me back later. I also emailed you Lansing's address on the upper side. You go in wearing that suit? <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I just ate a Skittle. It tasted like barbecue. Look, how, how long have you gone without speaking to Herb? I don't know. 12 years ago? Who the hell knows? Listen, get that suit. All right, I'll stop by, but Dad, I don't know about this suit. You're Herb, right? I am. Hi, I'm I'm Ben. I'm Doug Hurwitz's son. Hi. Hi, Ben. Uh, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring a bell to me. Oh. I didn't know you still live with your dad. I don't. Not anymore. Oh, so you're just visiting then? In a way. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, cool. <laughs> Looks like you guys are having quite the party. I can smell the cocoa from the lobby. Anyway, is your dad home for a minute, or...? Yes. Yes, he, he, he is at home. Thank you. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Can I just pop in then and just talk to him for 60 seconds? No. Literally 60 seconds. He doesn't have that kind of time, Ben. Okay, well, look. I need a job pretty badly, so I can just drop this off with you and maybe you could slip it his way. What? I'm not... Please? I'm not taking your resume, Ben. Please. No. Pretty. Absolutely not. I don't care how pretty the please is. What about how much sugar is on top? No, it doesn't matter how much sugar's on top. Sugar's a 10 cents for a pound. Okay, 
I don't know what to say, except for I guess this is your loss, not mine, and I'll see you later. Really? Ex excuse me? Look, I am very polite. Exceedingly oh, polite. Oh, yes, really? I won most polite at Lilith Fair two times in a row. It's not an award. And I just have a problem when nobody's willing to help a 22-year-old capable college graduate. I mean, come on, would it really kill, would it kill the guy, really? No, it wouldn't kill him, Ben, because he's already dead. See those men? Hugging? Being sad? Mm -hmm. You've come to a house of mourning with your bullshit job request. Nah. Yeah, you have. Do you, you even look at the paper? Do you, do you even read the paper? There was a quarter page obituary today. Y you know what? You know, Ben, mm. I want you to take your little 22-year-old dreams, your little piece of shit dreams, and go dump them on someone else's doorstep, especially one that's not sitting shiva. Okay. I am so, so sorry. I really had no idea. I had no idea. I had no, I had no idea. Are you idea. really doing that? I don't know what just happened, but may God be with him. He's in a better place. You're a piece of multicolored shit, Ben. Did you know that? Four to five.